We're talking horses this morning with Rosie Napravnik, the first female jockey to win the Kentucky Oaks, and she did it twice. And she finished as high as fifth in the Kentucky Derby. Glad to have you here, Rosie, and happy Derby. Thank you, yes, it's great to be here, and this is an electrifying atmosphere, as always, the now, Wednesday before the Derby. Now, I know life after horse racing as a jockey, you're still connected to it and tied to it. Talk about what you've been doing at the backside this week. Uh, to say the least, um, I've actually uh, been on the Twin Spires morning work show, so um, analyzing and commentating on how the Derby and Oaks horses look in their final preparations. Do what have you, you have, seen? Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you have one that you think looks better or more fit or ready than the others? Well, I, um, so I, there's a lot of horses that look great out here. Um, Epicenter is probably the early derby favorite, and he was one that was kind of unassuming, like not overly impressive, just looks like another horse out there in his gallops, but then when it came to the time for him to make his final breeze, he really impressed me. And I was just working on my derby picks before this interview, and I think he's probably gonna be one of my top picks. Okay. What have you seen from the Oaks horses? Um, from the Oaks horses, I really liked um, Kathleen O, mm -hmm. uh, Nest, and Secret Oath were some of the most impressive in the morning for me. Now you retired from racing really at the height of your career. You rode for nine years and you said you've been retired almost as long. Was it hard to walk away from this game? You know, it wasn't, it wasn't. It was, um, I was riding on Tappable at the time. We'd already won the Oaks and it was uh, the summer, you know, after that Kentucky Oaks win, mm -hmm. um, when Joe and I were kind of talking about maybe, you know, having a child and so, it was, you know, just the kind of the way we are, it's, let's, let's do it, you know? And yeah, so it was, it was a big, you know, like I'm riding this filly, she's gonna go to the Breeders' Cup, what's, what's to come next year? And I decided, you know what, there's, the thing about racing is there's always gonna be two-year-olds coming around in the next spring. There's always gonna be something to stay for. But it was just really what I felt at the time. I was ready to have a family and, a, you know, my own and, and I was just ready to move on. And now and she has two boys, yeah, six two and boys. seven years old. Now, talk about your favorite memory from your career. Uh, I have so many favorite memories. Um, a lot of them are even off the track. Uh, but definitely winning the Kentucky Oaks the first time was a, certainly a standout. Um, you know, just kind of like a dream come true and really validating for my career and all the work I put in. And then there was the 2013 Derby where I finished fifth on Milo and coming from way in the back, I followed the winner orb all the way around the turn and just passing horses down the lane in the oh, Kentucky Derby is, I feel chills. like I've won, well, you know? And you, so <laughs> I, I sort of, I sort of retired knowing like, okay, so I didn't get that Derby win that we all want, but like, it was so close I could taste it. I know it could happen. So that's yeah. good enough for me. <laughs> all right, and now she works with retired racehorses, working them into training for a second career. Rosie, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for stopping by to see us. You're an inspiration to many young ladies yes, out there. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for your time. Yeah,